Attending this um, workshop has been highly valuable to my work as a researcher for the neighboring region, Southeast Asia. Um, it was an excellent opportunity for me to be exposed to, to issues that are faced by communities here regarding the impacts of business. And also, it was an opportunity for me to understand where civil society leaders and academics are in the business and human rights discourse um, uh, on, on the local level. And I find that for both of these, um, f both of these issues that I was exposed to through this event, um, there are so many striking similarities between experiences here in India and those in the countries that I cover, such as Myanmar, the Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Um, so from our conversations with community members through the field visit, I find out that um, issues related to natural resource extraction um, such as massive displacement and the accompanying environmental um, destruction and the loss of livelihood um, and also the increased burden among women and communities brought about by, by um, for example, yesterday we saw a mining community. These are all issues that are faced by communities in, in Southeast Asia as well. and. In our work at the Resource Center of, of trying to highlight real issues and trying to enrich the, the global discussion on business and human rights, this experience has highlighted for me the need for me and my fellow researchers, especially perhaps in the Asia region and, and all the other regions that have similar experiences to, to try to come up with a more coordinated strategy about how, how these real issues f being faced by communities should be reflected before our international audience. And so we feel that through these kinds of actual interactions with communities that are affected, with, with leaders of civil society in, in a, a very local, um, space will help us enrich the debate through the platform that we provide on on our website and also it it will give us um, th that focus on on what's really important in this whole business and human rights discussion and that is to make sure that people who are affected by business operations are their rights are protected and and it is through these kinds of events and discussions that we get to attend or we get to organize um, every so often that we get reminded of that and this will carry on through our day-to-day -day, um, work of trying to gather these stories and trying to tell them in the most effective ways.